Hey guys, welcome back to Casey Farms. It is a beautiful day, not a cloud in the sky, except for over there. But just a beautiful fall day. We've got pigs due tomorrow. We've got other pigs we need to move across. Let's go check out the setup we have for these pregnant mamas. So before we get to the setup we have, you'll notice one piglet is gone and that is Mandarin and she just was not growing, but she was just a great pig. We found a perfect pet home for her and a great family we know is not going to breed her. They're just going to love on her. And uh, so we are thankful that she went to a great pet home, but she is no longer on the farm, but trust me, she's living the life. But let's go in here, check out what I did. Guess I don't need this feed right now till we go get the other mamas. But as we go into our farrowing barn, we've got our setups, we've got some hay down. And I was gonna use some other shavings, but uh, for the hay and bedding, we could have used straw, I guess, but we had hay on hand and it was already available. So we did hay in here. Um, we've got these walls up because there is a wind that blows through here and it gets pretty cold. We're going to be putting up a heat lamp. And we've also got the plastic uh, dividers that you see in the grocery stores that we are going to get hung up there. I just don't have that up yet. You can see down here, we've got one with a heat lamp. Hey, Chloe. Chloe's actually due tomorrow, so we are on piglet watch. Uh, but we've got the heat lamp in there and ready. She just came in and noticed the wall I put up but just a little windbreak for the piggies but uh let's check her out real quick i was out here messing with her earlier come here chloe we've got our little creep up if you guys remember so the piglets don't get out chloe hey ouch i always hit the barn door i should learn about that by now low bridge come here chloe come here come on pig so the mamas can easily get out. The piglets just can't get out of there for a couple days. But check this out here. She's a, she's an easy roller. Come on. Don't prove me. Don't make me a liar. There we go. So anyway, she's like a weeble wobble there. So I was out earlier. Let's see if we get any. Oh. Well, she did have milk earlier, but now she's uh, proving me wrong. But her due date is tomorrow. Let's see. She had some milk earlier, but now I'm not expressing any. But anyway, we should have piglets. We'll be out here tonight. You can see her milk is filled up on both sides. She's got that milk line right there. But we are expecting and if you guys remember, this is her first litter. This is Chloe, and she was in with Ryder, both of their first litters. So we're excited to see what they will produce. We did, we're able to get her a pig cure the other day, so her nails are looking fantastic. I know, honey, I know. But anyway, she is ready. We are ready and excited. I did get these other two runs set up. For the other two pig mamas that are coming over today at least that's the hope and the goal if you guys remember last video they are over there on my mother-in-law's side and we had to walk chloe all the way around the farm to get her <laughs> uh, just loving life over there to get her around well i did cut a spot in the fence yesterday to get these other two pigs across so we don't have such a long walk across the farm so i'm gonna grab my feed here again and uh let's go get the other two mamas okay i've got two openings down here one to each paddock so We'll see if we can get them in together. It's obviously a lot shorter walk. They are right over here. Oh, I see Pepper. We'll sneak up here 
and try to sneak oh well i guess i can i got to turn the power off unless i want to get shocked but pepper is where i need her to be oh i wish that fence was off but anyway we're excited about having these early fall litters um we do feel it's a little easier to kind of keep them piglets warm rather than trying to keep them cool in the summer so we'll see how this farrowing goes this time uh man i wish that charger was off we could have got them over quick but we'll see what we can do here we are going to get peaches she's also a first time mama all these litters are going to be first time mamas and we need pepper pepper's right there she was where we needed her oh i think she knows come here pepper come here come here pepper come on you can see she's starting to show she's a, just a couple days later than chloe and chloe's due date was tomorrow or is tomorrow and pepper's just a couple days later come here pepper come on come on oh this is perfect here i thought we were gonna have a whole herd here they come come on pepper we'll get this out oh man i got that in there tight come on good girl we'll just do one at a time there's no point in uh trying to get them all at once if i can get this down in there uh-oh she found the feed already uh-oh i gotta find the same hole it's a lot easier to push it in oh i'm gonna shake you guys around here oh come on pepper good girl come here there we go come here put your tongue in you're on camera there you go come on all right i love it when things work out perfect we still got to get peaches but that should not be an issue come on that's working out good we'll just slide her in this first pen it's got a smaller opening come on pepper Come on, girl. What a good pig. Come here. Come here. Hey, you got to eat off the ground first. I didn't bring you bowl. I'm sure you don't care. All right. There we go. Pepper is in. I'm going to close her gate up. Still got to get water bowls and all that kind of stuff, but the biggest thing is getting the pig over. Oh, perfect. I found the same hole. All right. So she is in. Now we just gotta go get peaches. Pepper, I believe, is bred to Bandit, who we no longer have, but he was a good looking boar and we are excited to see what those two will produce. Seems like a common theme. I'm excited, I'm excited, we're excited, we're excited. <laughs> so sorry if I repeat myself a little bit. This one may be a little more difficult. But I am glad I didn't put up a gate, guys. I just cut the field fence back a little bit so we could get them across. And we need peaches. Peaches is bred to Henry. We weren't sure if she took, but obviously she is showing and uh, expecting. So let's see. One-handed, this looks like a little more difficult task. Peach, you want to come out? Without anybody else getting out, that would be helpful. Marge, Marge is due next month, so she'll be coming a little bit later. We'll get those piglets out of the other side of the farrowing barn and have her a nice spot all cleaned up. So, same with Delilah. Delilah is due next month as well. So, we'll get her over to the farrowing barn once Josie's side is cleaned out. All right, how are we gonna do this, ladies? I really don't want you all following me. Let's see. What are the chances? No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not a good chance. All right. Sorry, y'all. I just needed two hands. I was able to go in there and move the other pigs around. Come on, Peach. I moved that fence around Peaches to get her out. I guess I have to get a camera I wear on my chest to show you everything. Come on, girly. Oh, this is so much better going from here 
to here than going all the way around the farm. So I'm glad we cut that in. Come on, Peach. Good girl. As you can see, she's kind of a lighter ginger, almost cream. But she is pretty. And she is bred to Henry, like I said earlier. Henry's a tri-boar we're excited to see. There's that word again, excited to see what they're going to produce. Come on, Peach. Come on. All right. Don't go around the outside. I know what y'all like to do. All right. Perfect. Oh, yeah. She's definitely bred. And they're within a couple days, maybe a week. So it's good to get them over here. Might as well get her closed up before I ruin our successful move. So we do have these fences hooked up to one charger. It's the uh, Premier One 120, and it will power 10 to 12 fences. So it's powering every single fence that is on this barn. So here is all of our pregnant girls. Pepper, doing a couple days. Peach, the same. And Miss Chloe, due tomorrow. So we're going to do our best to catch that on video. We hope you guys enjoy the piglet birthing videos. We enjoy sharing them. It's uh, never the same experience twice. And it's always exciting. So we'll get that, hopefully. She may have them in the middle of the night when we're not out here. But obviously, you guys will see those piglets. So we've got the barn set up. We are going to put those plastic flaps on the doors just to help with the wind. The wind It's beautiful today, but the last couple days it's been cold and the wind's been blowing right in there. But I think it's a little easier to keep them warm rather than trying to cool them down. So we'll get their waters and feeders. Mamas will be in comfort for the next couple weeks as they get ready to have their babies. Well, they better have them before a couple weeks, but they'll be in here until the piglets are weaned at eight weeks. So appreciate you guys following along if you haven't already. Hopefully you'll hit that subscribe button if you enjoy the content you're seeing and don't forget to make the change.